What's up, it's Marco Sage's Soccer Day. We talk about the second week of the Premier League. Man, we had a lot of fun matches to go through. Uh, I was away coaching for a little bit, so I didn't get to see all of them. So I'm just going to talk about the games I saw the full thing of. And, man, the first one that was really good was uh, Tottenham and Chelsea. And, man, that was a really strong and awesome ending to it with how much the managers hate each other. Like, I, I know we're not supposed to like it, but we all do. You know, um, I think for the game, I really liked how Chelsea were playing. I feel like they were probably the better team they like control more of the ball but their attack is just kind of weak right now and so I wasn't really surprised that Tottenham came away with the point uh for Chelsea I mean you got to feel for them like I feel like the, the refs did do them kind of dirty but at the same time like I don't think they did enough to really win it so I don't feel like like there are obvious exceptions but typically refs don't impact whether a team wins or loses in my opinion uh, I think their attack and playing the final third seems a bit weak. I think they're missing that elite goal score. And, like, they know it. They bought Lukaku last year for a reason. It's just he didn't really fit with the way they played. And Sterling's good, but I don't think he's ever going to be a guy where he gets a chance on goal and you're confident that's going in the back of the net. Even, like, he can have a 20-goal season, but I don't think I'll ever feel confident in him, I guess, uh, Havertz really hasn't taken that step forward that I, we know he can, that he has talent for. Uh, guys like Mount, Ziyech, Pulisic, like kind of doing average for a Champions League level club. Like, I feel like they need to get their attack to that next level to really be able to compete with the Man City type team. Liverpool when they're at full strength. But uh, yeah, right now, still a very strong looking team. I love their defense. Reese James came with the goal. He's looking really strong. Like overall, really good team. But a couple steps away. And Tottenham, I feel like they're the same way, but kind of in reverse. Because man, that attack they have is lethal. Like Harry Kane, Son. Uh, now they're adding Richarlison to it. Man, like just a complete team, complete attack, goals or like everything you would want. But I think the rest of the team kind of has to catch up. Uh, Conte, he's like a really good manager. People forget how good he was doing with Victor Moses and Marcos Alonso as wingbacks. I'm um, really liking what I'm seeing from Ryan Sessegnon. Like, he was a player I was like, really high on a couple of years ago. It's nice to see him finally get a good run in the first team. Hoping him, Emerson Royale, can do well. But the team like isn't like great. I mean, I think I really like Romero at the back. But Loris, he's probably a club legend at this point. But probably... The worst goalkeeper? No, no, not that, but I like the Champions League clubs. I'd say he's behind Mendy, he's behind Allison, Ederson, but I think he's fine, kind of like David De Gea. Like, it's not really a priority to upgrade. Uh, but Eric Dyer, Ben Davies, I mean, they're doing well, but this team can definitely be updated, upgraded. And if they keep Conte for like a long term period, I think this team could really develop into a title contender. The attack's good, but, man, the rest of the team does need to be improved to reach the top. Uh, next game, Manchester United losing 4 nothing to Brentford. And it was them losing this game. I don't think it was Brentford winning it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so just Brentford real quick. Obviously, great for them to get this win. Uh, I think I did predict them for relegation, but I, I kind of want them to stay up because yeah, they, they're doing really well. They're great in the marketplace. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping they can do well, but... Uh, and if this is a great start, but I think this game was more about Manchester United. And they are in a rough situation because I look at this team and if I'm talking about Tottenham and if they want to be a Champions League level team, they need to get the rest of the players to like kind of catch up to the good guys they have. I don't think Manchester United really has anybody who's a Champions League level player. Like, Veron and Sancho, maybe, but they haven't really adapted well to the Premier League. Uh, Bruno, De Gea as well. And I'll give Martinez, like, a couple more games to get adjusted, but it's really not looking good. Like, I think you have to sell Ronaldo. Like, he wants to leave, and if he's on his, if he's unhappy there, I think that's going to bring the whole team down. Uh, Harry Maguire, I think he gets a lot of stick that he shouldn't, but he's not good enough for this level of club. Uh, they need two new fullbacks. Luke Shaw has been a disappointment. Like, that one good run of form he had in 2021, I believe, like, that's long gone now. That was probably the only time he's ever been good consistently for a season. Maybe a little bit before when he got that, before that leg break he had, but, like, he's... 
I don't think that leg break ruined his career. At this point, he showed that he could get back to the top level. He just couldn't sustain it. Like, at some point, we have to just accept that this guy was never really that good. Uh, Diego Dalla, like, he's not, like, a bad player or anything. It's just when you look at the right backs at the top level, like Man City, Kyle Walker, Jao Cancelo, like, man, Trent Alexander-Arnold. I'm going to talk a little bit about him later, but... It just not at that level. Aaron Wambasaka, maybe it'd be fun to try him as a right sided center back. I don't think he'd adjust that well, but it might be worth a try. But he's he's too weak offensively. I know he used to be a winger, but he was changed to a right back for a reason. And yeah, the midfield, Fred and McTominay need to go. Bruno, I, I, I'm not even sold on Bruno really, but he's the only one I want to keep uh Rashford it's it, I don't think it's ever really going to happen for him if they could get the money for him I I would uh Martial doesn't seem like it's going to work like just I think you just got to build around the little amount of talent you have and hope that you can get something going like they need a complete revolution like I think I'd give Eric Ten Hag a lot of time like unless they like are still in the relegation zone by October like I'd seriously give them like time because I think Manchester United they're not a club like Chelsea where they can just bring in like a new manager every single year like or every three years I think they need a long-term guy I think Ten Hag can be that but they do need to give him some time uh next we got Liverpool and Crystal Palace uh yeah I'm a Crystal Palace fan but there's not much I can really say about this uh Zaha got a really nice goal and then Palace parked the bus uh as they looks really good I thought the defense was solid and uh, it's good to see Michael Elise come back from injury. But, uh, yeah, they just played defensively the entire time. Shows the respect they have for Liverpool, as Palace typically don't do that. But, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, for Liverpool, I think the defense they have is a pretty big issue. Uh, Darren Nunez, like, he was sent off, and I think he's looking pretty good. But, honestly, like, if they had that money to spend, I probably would have spent it on uh, another midfielder or the defense because... I know they're dealing with a lot of injuries, but I don't feel like they've ever had a really good partner for Van Dyke. Uh, Matt has done the job, but I don't think he's an elite-level player. I really... Uh, Nat Phillips, he sucked. <laughs> like, he's not Liverpool quality. I don't think he's a Champions League... A championship player. I don't think he's a Premier League player. I think he's a championship player. Like, he was not doing well. And Trent is... He's weak defensively. Like, it, he's a liability at some points. Like, he's too good, and, like, I wouldn't take him off the field. I think he might be a guy, like, it's been talked about a lot, but maybe you move him to the midfield because you want him on the team because he's such a good player, so good offensively. But, like, Eze was owning him the entire game. And, listen, I like Eze, but he's he's not, like, the top level of competition you're going to face, or at least not yet. But, uh, yeah, I really would. Uh, they need to improve the defense. Uh, I don't even think Mane leaving hurts them. Like, Diaz was amazing. That was a great goal. Mohamed Salah is still there. Uh, Diego Jota is going to be coming back from injury. I think they play Harvey Elliott on the wing. But uh, they need to really... Well, they, they are dealing with injuries, but I think they need to just keep uh, improving the team. Don't be complacent because... Yeah, this will keep happening. Uh, last few games to talk about. Uh, West Ham, uh, Nine Forest beat West Ham, and everything really went right for Forest this game. Uh, Dean Henderson was proving his worth. He honestly might be the long-term answer for Manchester United and keeper. I was really like the look of Nico Williams. Uh, striker picked up a really good, picked up a goal. Not a really good goal. It's got a crappy goal, but if he keeps scoring, maybe Nottingham Forest will be able to stay up. Uh, West Ham, I think they need a couple more signings. Uh, the team is strong, but uh, I think they need a little bit more depth. And I don't know, you just look at this team, it's like, they're like a class mid-table side, but if they do want to break in and try to compete for Europe, which is possible this year, I think, like, you know, maybe get some more midfield depth, another dynamic attacker. Like, I'm not positive about the signing of Cornette, uh, Hopefully their uh, strike from Swallow can be really good. and But I do like the team, but 
I don't think they're in a position to really get to the next level. Like a- after Leicester had a really good season, you saw they make some really strong signs, even though they've been bad to start the year. But you can see the talent there. Uh, last game is uh, Everton and Aston Villa, and I'll be honest, I only saw the first half of this, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. Uh, Everton, they seem like they could be in a bit of trouble. Like Donald Calvert Lewin's injured again, and I said if that happens, things could get bad. But uh, yeah, I would be pretty concerned if I was an Everton fan at this point. Uh, Aston Villa, I'm liking the look of them. They could really end up doing something. Got a pretty strong defense. I'm a huge fan of Luka Dean, uh, Tyrone Mings. Uh, Matty Cash, or, like Martinez is a really strong goalkeeper. A Coutinho in the team now, two really sol- solid strikers, and Ollie Watkins and Danny Ings. Like, like again, if Manchester United don't recover, like Aston Villa could push for Europe. They could, like I think sixth place is winnable this year for every single club in the league. Like, they could definitely push for that. And uh, yeah, I really like the team they put together. And again, I missed the full games, but uh, Arsenal and Man City look really good. Like, Man City, I've said it before, I'm not sure they lose a game before the World Cup. Like, after the World Cup, anything can happen, but I, I don't think they lose a game before that. And, uh, oh, well, I don't know how the Champions League's working this year. If, if fixtures get really congested, then maybe, but uh, they, they're strong. And Arsenal, like, again, I'm not sold on them yet, but if Gabriel Jesus continues this form, like, she's like, between Martinelli, Saka, uh, Odegaard, uh, yeah, Jesus, like, that's really good. Uh, Thomas Party, if he stays in the team, like, such a strong player. Their defense is finally coming together. Ramsdale's looking really good. Like, Arsenal, they could finally get back to what they were under, like, Wenger in his prime. Like, it, it's looking really promising if you're an Arsenal fan. But, uh, yeah, that's all I really have to talk about with the Premier League. Uh, it's been really fun. Got a great game between Chelsea and Tottenham. Uh, Manchester United, they really got to get things figured out. Uh, Liverpool, I feel like they should be uh, doing a bit better. Everton, they're in pretty big trouble. And Arsenal, Man City, they look re- really good. So, yeah, that's all I talk about. See you.